to travel now though. New Zealand's nine great walks are world renowned. Not only are they high on the to-do list of tourists, but Kiwis are keen to get back to nature too and see our country at its 100% pure best. Doc is about to add to the list of great walks and travel journalist Debbie Griffiths is here to tell us all about it. Morning Debbie. Good morning. So where are the current great walks? Okay, so there are nine great walks as you said. So there's three in the North Island. There's Lake Waikiri Moana, there's Tongariro Northern Circuit and Whanganui Journey which is actually technically a paddle rather than a walk. Um, then there's five in the South Island. There's Milford, Kepler, Rootburn, Heafy and Abel Tasman Coast. And there's one on Stewart Island as well. That's the Rakiura Track. And there's another one, the Paparoa Track is currently in development on the west coast as well. Okay, so that's going to make 10, so why add another one? Yeah, well the current tracks are getting more and more popular, so even though it costs a little bit more for overseas visitors, spaces do fill up fast. So the government provided $12.7 million to DOC in Budget 2017 to expand the Great Walk Network. So last September DOC said which of the walks should join the Great Walks Network, and DOC got more than 30 submissions for that, and a panel has whittled it down to a shortlist of seven. Okay, so tell me about the walks on the short list. Okay. So let's start at the top of the country. So furthest north is Tipaki Coastal Walk in Northland. So this track follows the coastline from Spirits Bay on the northeastern coast past Cape Reinga and Cape Maria Van Diemen and it finishes at Tipaki Stream on the west coast. Now the whole track is 48 kilometres long and we actually went to uh, Dock and we asked the staff for their thoughts on each track. So Aaron Taikato from Dock is, says that he's proud of the rich Māori cultural significance of Te Reinga and it provides a world class eco-cultural experience for everyone to enjoy. So what about the Auckland region? Any walks there? Yeah, one of the tracks is, on the shortlist is just off the coast uh, on Great Barrier Island, so it's Aotea Track. So this track is a combination of easy walkways, we've got boardwalks and steep climbs and stairways and bridges. And it includes natural hot springs on this as well and a climb, look at that view, to enjoy the amazing 360 degree views over the island and beyond. So Great Barrier is an absolute must for bird lovers, and of course, Dark Sky Sanctuary, so switch off your torch, enjoy the night sky. Uh, now, George Taylor from Doc's Aotea office describes the island as rugged and remote, wild and isolated, and he says the three-day Aotea track will captivate you with the stunning scenery. I spent Christmas on the barrier, absolutely ah, stunning. Gorgeous. Love it. So let's head down to the Waikato next. Thing. Okay, so Timber Trail was created from historic bush tramways, old bulldozer and hall roads, as well as newly constructed track. Mm, cool. So as you can see, it features 35 bridges including some of the highest and the longest in New Zealand. Now eight of them are suspension bridges and the longest is 141 metres. So the timber trail passes through Potokarp forests and showcases the historic Ongarui spiral. Now that's an old tram line that dates back to our pioneering days. Uh, so Natasha Hayward from Dock tells us the timber trail offers a unique experience through rich ancient forests and significant historical and cultural landscapes as well. Sounds amazing. Wow, and I see there's a walk on the shortlist in your neck of the woods as well. Yes, yeah, so Bay of Plenty's Tarawera Trail has made the shortlist. So there are gorgeous views of beautiful Lake Tarawera. You'll end up at Tarata Bay to enjoy a soak at the hot water beach there. So Jeff Millam from Doc's Toronga Rotorua office talks about the stunning volcanic backdrop of Mount Tarawera, the breathtaking views of Rotorua's famous lakes, sandy beaches, waterfalls, and of course, course the hot water pools as well. He says the dramatic cultural history of the area is brought to life when you do this trail. Awesome. Let's head down to the South Island. Okay. Then. Queen Charlotte Track, Marlborough stretches 70 kilometres from historic Ship Cove through to Anakiwa in the Grove Arm of Queen Charlotte Sound. So this track can be easily walked or biked. And Roy Gross from Dock tells us that there are picturesque bays, shady coastal forests, ridge lines offering endless views out to sea, enviable bird life and cultural history dating back to Coupe. And Roy also told us about the Canterbury Track. So that's on the shortlist as well. It's the Waiao Toa Molesworth. So Molesworth Station is spectacular, it's iconic high country reserve with a rich farming history. 
So Roy tells us that visitors will experience wide river valleys, tussock slopes and scree-scarred mountains. He says Molesworth Station teems with sites of Māori and European historical and cultural significance. Looks amazing. It does look amazing. So hang on, so that's six of them. So there's one left to be the contender for the next Dock Great Walk? Yes, so this is the Hump Ridge Track in Fiordland. So this is a three-day, approximately 61 kilometre loop walk. It takes trampers along the south coast of New Zealand up to the subalpine zone of the Hump Ridge and over historic viaducts over the heart of native forest. So the highlight panoramic views of southwest Fiordland, Southern Ocean, Stewart Island and Caroline Rain who works in Dock's southern South Island region says the track enables you to not only sample a whole variety of forest types but also the sweeping Fovo Strait coastline and historic wooden viaducts as well. Wow, wow they all sound pretty amazing and they look amazing too. So when is the decision being made about the next Great Walk? Well, an announcement on the successful Great Walk or walks will be made at the end of this year. They should round them up, make, put another five in there or something. <laughs> That's what I say anyway. Hey Debbie, thank you so much.